What we'd like to do this afternoon, uh, I understand from Frank, and we're going to take about an hour and a half, I understand from Frank that it's, it's customary uh, in this kind of session to kind of focus on the events of the last year. Uh, this year being the last year of the decade, the last year of the century, the last year of the millennium ad nauseum, uh, we're really going to take a longer look back. Um, we'd love to look back a century. I don't know that any of us have the credentials quite to look back a century, but we can kind of look back from our knowledge some 25 to 50 years. So in some ways we're going to be talking about the year 1999, but in some years we're going to be looking back uh, a little bit beyond that. What I've uh, kind of prepared our panelists for so far is to look at some of the stories uh, of the year and recently some of uh, the news gatherers, the reporters, the uh, editorialists, and uh, in the first segment of what we want to cover, even what I call exported journalists, people who kind of came into the market here but went on to really make their mark nationally beyond Delaware. And with that, with that introduction, and, and thank you for your patience, let me just kind of start by uh, and start with Tammy. Uh, and then come to John uh, and talk a little bit about what you would regard as the top two or three candidates uh, in terms of news stories of this year uh, in Delaware. Well, I think that probably one of our big uh, stories or issues in Delaware that, um, that everyone is concerned about would be that overall topic of education and the quality of education. Um, we certainly have seen a lot of coverage recently. Um, about accountability, but it, it goes well beyond that. Um, I think you could even branch beyond that and talk about uh, the story that has certainly riveted and horrified us across the nation and worried us even at home, and that's violence in schools, um, most notably and most recently yesterday uh, with uh, some of these. And those, those issues are all kind of tied together, I think, and they're very deep, um, and we're all searching for answers, and as journalists, we have to go out and cover the, the issue of the moment, but I think that the, the larger underlying uh, concerns are the ones that, that we're just beginning to get to. Okay. John, do you have... Uh, yeah, I, would, I would pretty much agree. Uh, I think that education certainly is the story of the year in Delaware in all of its, all of its forms, of teacher accountability, student accountability, uh, school finance, and they're, they're very difficult to to separate, because I think they, they are all, uh, to a large extent, connected. I think uh, it, the fact that education has finally risen to the top of the pile is an indication that there's a lot of frustration, some of it well-placed, some of it misplaced, with the public school system. Uh, you know, there, there have been a lot of attempts uh, to make some changes, and uh, uh, despite all of the, uh, all of the uh, hoopla about, yeah, we want better schools, uh, when push came to shove, uh, most people were chicken when it, when it, when it clearly was there that it was going to be tough. And, and they backed down. The ledges, you know, some, some uh, school officials, you know, were, up, were kind of concerned. And they got to the legislators. At the risk of uh, being provocative, but I guess that's what I'm supposed <laughs> to do, uh, and recognizing that all of us have kind of a voyeuristic element, what about uh, the Capano case? I'm surprised that neither of you mentioned, you know, we had a a prominent public official, prominent attorney of fall from grace and ending with a capital murder case and a, and a death sentence. Uh, neither of you would, would kind of rank that up there as, as, a, as a, a case of the year or certainly a, a, a candidate as a case of the century? Uh, it's, a, it's another boring murder case. I mean, yeah, it was interesting. Had a lot of, had a lot of elements of drama, but uh, I, I don't see the impact on Delaware, uh, you know, another, another dumb guy got... Yeah, it depends on what your definition is for story of the year. If it's the most voyeuristic coverage, um, you, you can look locally or you can certainly look to Washington. We had a lot of entertainment there. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I think if you want to look at what average, real people are concerned about, I think they're concerned about, and what they would consider stories, it's the things that are going to affect them most and certainly the quality of education and the safety of our schools. And I think maybe, maybe that's so much on our minds right now because, because of some of the uh, recent legislation and some of the drama that has occurred even uh, within Legislative Hall over the accountability issues. And it's a, it's, a, it's a tough subject to get your arms around and be able to present intelligently. But I think that there's a real hunger for information and knowledge and understanding in Delaware about what's what in the heck is being done to our kids? I, I, I think Tammy's right. I think that 
you know, there have been a lot of murders, and, you know, just in the last couple of weeks, there have been two or three other murder cases. You know, all murders are tragic, and, uh, you know, the celebrity murder cases that draw a lot of media attention. And, you know, we're all responsible for making it what it was. I guess people were interested. I got criticized at the Academy of Lifelong Learning for the way some of that coverage was. And I said, did you read the stories? And the guy said, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the voyeuristic element I meant. The, uh, let me ask you, when you kind of look back over the last quarter century, half century, and looking back uh, beyond, what do you look at as the major stories that have uh, consumed Delaware public life in the media uh, in the last half century or century? Why don't we ask John first, since he's been around longer? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll I, defer I, to age I and wisdom. Uh, <laughs> I come back to, to uh, two issues that were, uh, in, at least in the last 50 years, uh, I think education and race and, and where they were joined. I think you know, Delaware was one of the, uh, the cases that were joined at the Supreme Court that resulted in desegregation of schools nationwide. Uh, we came back into the news about 25 years later when the schools in northern Newcastle County were found to be segregated uh, by law, uh, which was unusual, and, and, they, and their courts ordered them desegregated. And, and uh, the schools were desegregated again in 1977-78. Uh, you know, there, there was a lot of disruption in, in the schools in, in both cases. Uh, they're, they're, I think, clearly the two big, biggest stories of the last 50 years. Tammy, your thoughts? Well, I was going to, I was going to say civil rights issues, um, race issues, and I think you can kind of go out in a lot of different directions when you, if you just, if you talk uh, uh, civil rights slash race, racial uh, tensions, and I think that those are certainly issues that we still are grappling with today. Education, and and another component of that is crime. 